Hello everyone, I'm Buck Weezer. We're putting the do into do-it-yourself. Welcome to my mess. Yeah, I'm a DIYer and I work outside. I don't have a garage or a shop. So we get it done here out in the open air. And today I'm working on a Craftsman M260. And I'm going to change out the the starter rope and I wanted to show you how to do that maybe this can be of help to you this is a preemptive uh, measure you can see right here that that rope is frayed I've been working so hard till the cuffs on my pants are frayed afraid of what and so we're gonna change it out because it's about to break it's not a very hard job and it's gonna start by removing this top plastic cover there's a couple of bolts in here and here I think they're Torx bits so I gotta go find the right tools and uh, I might just move this guy onto the ground because I think that will be easier for me to film so you can see what I'm doing. I'll be right back. Okay, so I should have mentioned that this is a Briggs and Stratton engine. I like to call this the Briggs and Stratton plastic engine because it's got a plastic carburetor yep plastic this is also the uh, engine where the fuel cap keeps falling off I've got a great hack on resolving that which I will link to so you can check it out and I'm using a Torx uh, T25 to remove these two screws All right. And then you can lift this up, but there's also, it hooked a clips in underneath there. So you have to be able to uh, pop that off as well. It's hard to see. There we go. Clips right under there. This tab right there does. All right, so there. Uh, now we're going to use the 5 uh, socket to go one, two, three screws that are holding down this um, uh, starter rope uh, recoil assembly. So let me get those tools and I'll be right back. All right, one. Is, and it's all plastic used to make this stuff out of metal nope it's all plastic so when you go back to put these back together you got to be careful you don't over tighten things all right so there's our recoil assembly he's off and he's free and uh, we're going to take him over to the bench and we'll get out a new spool of starter rope and I'll show you how to put it on. Okay, so here's our recoil assembly and there's nothing wrong with it. We just are changing this rope out before it breaks on us because it's about to do that. So what I want to do is, uh, how it works is when you pull the string, you see these, uh, these tabs extend out. They grab onto the uh, top of the, the motor and spin it so it will start. And then as you release that, they go, they retract and go back in. So that's how it works. There's nothing wrong with this one, so I want to pull the string all the way out. As far as it'll come out. Which is right to there. And now I'm going to take a screwdriver and I'm going to stick it up through one of the holes so that it will hold it in place for us. Up this guy right there. All right, so that's like that. And now I have access to the knot, which feeds right through here and, and to our string. I've got a coil of true blue, 100 foot number four, one eighth diameter. That is at least close to the size that was on there. And I'm going to uh, use my torch and just uh, melt the end of this nylon rope so that it doesn't come it doesn't fray on us it's just a little trick I have 
and then I'm just going to squeeze it so it's and that will keep that the end of that cable from coming un, unwound or you know whatever the word is all right so now I'm going to take off this old string and uh, I can probably just cut it anywhere and pull it out so I got a pair of scissors there now we can since we have the full length of string we could cut ourselves the piece at the right length we, we will be reusing this handle but I'm not going to do that yet because I don't want to I want to have as much string as I need so I'm not going to cut it yet until the very end all right so now I'm going to try to feed this string through the hole and then through the and through the spool under which it winds and it's hard to get it through there it's coming right through there you probably can't see it and my my knot's just a little too thick so it's a little bit of trial and error to get that to feed through there it's right there at the end wonder if I can grab it oh there it is maybe a pair of needle nose pliers I can pull that right through Ah, we lost the outer insulation. All right, that didn't work. I'm going to cut this and start again. So that's sometimes what you have to do. Let's see if I can push this through there without melting the, the insulation like I did before. And there he is. He wants to come through. He can't quite get it. There we go. There we go. I'm going to get it now. All right. He's all the way through. Okay. And now we can tie a knot. There. Now I think I got a little too much hanging off the end, so I'm going to cut that off and then I'm going to melt it again. Okay. All right, that's it. Now, what I'm going to do is, got my spool of, of string, I'm going to take the screwdriver out and let it wind the string onto the spool slowly and I'm just going to let it take as much as it wants all right so that's good. Now I still have the other end. I got the full spool so I can go put this back on and I'll make it as long as I want. I want to point out one thing that the previous string had this stopper on there, which only allowed the strain to go so far back into the recoil. I don't think that's important or necessary. While we're here, we could get rid of this old string because we are reusing the handle. So we got to figure out a way to, uh, Go down in there and pull it out. There we go. So now I'm going to attach this only when we've got the recoil back on the engine and I know exactly how long I want the rope to be. So let's, uh, let's go put this back on the engine.
All right, good. Now, I can't exactly push my spool through that opening, so I better figure out how long I want my string. And I'll cut it a little bit longer than I need it. All right, feed the string through there. And this guy can go back in place. Clips in there and what we had one, two screws up there. Problem is I don't remember where I put those two screws. We'll come back to that with our T25. And now it's just a matter of attaching the handle. All right, so the string goes all the way up into there. And through here. But I can actually put it through there as our last step. So now we gotta get our handle. and feed our string up through the handle. Comes out, and we can decide where we want it. About like that. So if I tie the knot here, it'll retract and come out a little bit more. So let's, let's put our knot right about there. That's pretty good. You know, this is the kind of thing where it's probably worth it to make that knot not twice as big, double it up there. All right. Now we'll cut this. And guess what I'm going to do to the end of that rope? All right. That's good. He comes through here, there, through there. Tighten this guy down. And our new rope is in place. All that remains is to locate those two screws and secure the top. What did I do with that? I guess maybe I'm going to have to review the tape and see where I put them. Okay, you know what I did with those two screws? You probably do know. I didn't do anything with them. I left them in there in the cover when I took it off. So at some point, I flipped the cover over and one of them fell out. The other one's still here. I spent some time on my hands and knees trying to find it. I did not find it. It's the disadvantage of working out in the dirt. You drop a nut or a bolt, or in this case, a, a Torx 25, T25 bit, and disappears on you. Well, I got the one in, plus it's clipped in, so this isn't going anywhere. Um, that's all there is to it. We, we changed out the string. I guess all that remains is to uh, Fire it up and see if it runs. Oh. Well, that starts easy. We got a new string, new starter rope. Love it. That's how you do it. I want to thank you for joining me on this video and putting up with my foolishness along the way. Hopefully this video was of help to you. Uh, please leave me a comment. Love to hear from you what you think. And I'll look forward to seeing all of you on our next video. Bye-bye.